everyone and welcome back to another video. Today we'll be taking a look at updating our rooted Pixel 3 up to the Android 11 or Android R developer preview. So we'll update and also keep root access. So why don't we get over to our computer here and we'll download a few things to get started. The first thing we need to get is the SDK platform tools. Now this package contains things like ADB and Fastboot, these programs we use to communicate with our phone from our computer. So why don't we scroll down a little bit and then we can click on the one for Windows. Of course, you can choose one for your respective operating system. Agree with the terms and conditions and click on the blue download link. Uh, I will save these all into one folder. So create a side or make a folder and download everything into that. The next thing you want to download is of course the factory image for the Android R preview or Android 11. So scroll down until we see the section that says to flash your device manually. You can also click on that on the right hand side here. And this will download the factory image for our device. So I'm going to select the one for the Pixel 3. I'll also agree with the terms and conditions. And then I'll also uh, press the blue button here to download. And I'll save those two files onto our computer. And the last thing you want to download is the latest version of the Magisk Manager in the Canary build. So if you scroll down, this is on the desktop. If you scroll down to the README section of it, uh, you want to download the Canary build of Magisk Manager. Now, to make things easier, I'm going to do this on, on the phone here. So let's go over to the phone. I currently have Magisk Manager and it would help if you came here and then actually unhid Magisk Manager. So if you go to settings and you've done something like this where it says restore Magisk Manager. So you've hidden Magisk Manager. So you need to tap on restore just so it can restore its original package name and all that good stuff. So give that a few moments to download itself and restore itself. Okay, it looks like that is done. So once you have that done, let's head over to that Magisk um, GitHub link. And on the mobile, it looks a little bit different. Hopefully that's better. Um, so here is just the readme. So you need to tap on view all of readme just so we can get access to the Canary uh, links. And then just tap on the Canary Magisk Manager, this one. Uh, you don't have to download the one that is debug. So just tap on that one and that should download the Canary APK. And once that is done, we need to install the APK. So why don't we do that? Let's uh, open this and then tap on install. You may have to allow your browser or file manager to install programs. So click open. And there we go. So this is a new layout for the Canary builds of Magisk Manager. So we'll be using this. And this is what we need. So you may also have to go into the settings here at Magisk Manager, tap on update channel, and then change that to Canary as well just so you can get the latest Canary builds that we'll use to reroute our phone on Android 11. So you can see now that it's checked for this new build here, starting with C9.4. Uh, yours will differ depending on when you decide to look at this video, but as long as you're on the Canary channel. So that's it for Magisk Manager on our phone for now. What we need to do is head over back to our computer here, and this is where we need to start extracting a few files. So remember we downloaded the factory image and of course the platform tools ready to be used. So why don't we extract the latest platform tools onto our computer first. So open up the zip file and drag out the platform tools folder into the same folder here. Once that is done, you can close that. And we'll also open up the factory image as well. So let's open this up and open this folder. And then I want you to highlight the bootloader, image and radio files. Extract these three files out. Give this a second, they are quite large in, in size. Alrighty, so now that the files have copied over, I want you to close the factory image here and then open up the image zip file, not the factory image, but the image and zip file. Open this up and then also drag out the boot image outside just like that. So extract the boot image. All right, so the next thing we need to do is get our platform tools ready to be used in our, I guess, command prompt or terminal window. So I wanted to open up the platform tools folder and in the address bar, this is only on Windows, I want you to go to the address bar and then type in CMD. Now this is a way to open up a command prompt into the same directory as the platform tools here. So if I run something like ADB or Fastboot, I'll be able to access these programs that are inside this folder, okay? So I've got my command prompt window here. It is a little bit different. I'm using a console emulator instead, but everything should be mostly the same. Uh, and here are the platform tools. I've just moved it over to the right hand side. Now I want you to go back one folder or go up one folder, uh, back into the Android folder where everything else is. Uh, on your phone, uh, hopefully you can enable USB debugging. That will help us a lot. Uh, but just really quickly, if you haven't done that, all you need to do is go to settings, 
scroll down to about phone and make sure you've enabled um, the developer options down here by tapping seven times. And once you've done that, head over to system, tap on advanced and then tap on developer options. Scroll down about a little bit here, just the second section and enable USB debugging just like that. And once you've done that, we can head over back to our computer here. Uh, what we'll do is check that we have the latest version of the SDK platform tools. So to do that, let's type in ADB double dash version. And that'll give us this version 10.041 and also this version of the platform tools and also tell you where it's located. Now, if this doesn't really match where you opened your terminal window or command prompt window, then you might need to find out where it's located, where it's installed and make sure it is the latest version and it reports back the latest version. So if you've got the latest version, let's continue. So we're going to move this boot image to our phone so we can use Magisk Manager to patch it with the Canary build of Magisk Manager. So let's type in ADB push and we'll drag in this boot image onto the command prompt window. And if you can't do this, you can hold shift and right click on the file that you need and then click on copy as path down here. And what you can do if I get rid of this, you can right click on your command prompt window and it will paste in the path of where the file is located. So that's only if you can't drag and drop it in for whatever reason. And then the location on our phone, we want to put it on our SD card just to make it easy. So let's type in SD card forward slash like this with a forward slash at the front and hit enter. Now you realize the Pixel 3 doesn't have an SD card, but really it's a internal mapping to our internal storage. And if this is your first time using ADB on your phone and with this computer, you need to allow USB debugging. So tap on always allow from this computer and then tap on allow. And you would have gotten this message saying that the device is unauthorized. Press the up arrow key on your keyboard to repeat or go up one command and press enter again. And now you should see that it is successfully pushed to our device. Now, once you've done that, we need to head back to our device here. And more specifically, we need to go back to Magisk Manager, where we'll use that to install Magisk onto that boot image that we just copied over. So let's tap on update. I'm going to tap on allow for this. So these options are fine. I'll leave that. And then the method, we want to select and patch a file. And this will bring up the file browser and you may have to show internal storage by tapping on that. I've already done it. So that's why it says hide internal storage. And then on the left hand side, tap on your internal storage and scroll down to the bottom. You might not have to scroll at all, but locate that boot image that you copied over. So that is this one on the right hand side. And then once you've selected that, tap on next and tap on let's go. And this will download Magisk, uh, the latest Canary build, and then, and then flash it onto our boot image or apply it onto there. So give this a few seconds until it's done. And you can see that the output of the file is in our download folder. So why don't we head back to our computer and copy the magisk underscore patched image to our computer or into the Android folder. All right, so let's type in ADB pull and we'll type in the location of the file from our phone, which is forward slash SD card forward slash capital D download forward slash magisk underscore patched dot IMG. And the location we want on our computer is this Android folder. And a shortcut to do that is to type in two dots, which represents the parent directory. So if our current directory is on my F drive and then the Android folder and then the platform tools folder, then this parent directory would be the Android folder. So if I hit enter here, you should see it pop up on the right hand side in the Explorer window. There it is. So you know that's worked. Otherwise you can type in a full location or perhaps you can even drag in a folder where you want the, uh, the image to be pulled into. So once you have the Magisk patched image on your computer, we can now go ahead and update our phone to Android 11. So to do that, we need to reboot our phone into the bootloader and you should back up anything that you need beforehand as something might go wrong, but hopefully not. So let's do that. Let's reboot our phone to the bootloader and we can do that by typing in ADB reboot bootloader like so. Hit enter and our phone should automatically reboot itself into the bootloader. Alrighty, so first off, check that our device is connected in fastboot so let's do a quick fastboot devices command and there we are so our serial number has popped up here and our device is in fastboot mode which is what we need so the next thing we'll do is flash the bootloader the latest bootloader image to the phone so let's type in fastboot flash bootloader leave a space after bootloader and drag in the bootloader image and hit enter now sometimes when you flash the images and you have the command typed out here and you press enter, it says that the disk image file is corrupted and it cannot mount the file. It means that you have this image selected or this explorer window active when you hit enter 
but what you are trying to actually do is go back to your command prompt and hit enter here to flash or complete the command. Make sure your command prompt window is active. You can tell by the title bar or alt tab back into it rather than having this file selected and hit enter, which is why you might get that error. So just keep your eye out on that. And once that is finished, we need to reboot our phone back into the bootloader so the new bootloader can take effect. So let's type in fastboot reboot bootloader, like so, hit enter, and our phone should reboot back into the bootloader. And we'll need to update the radio image next. So let's type in fastboot flash radio. Leave a space after radio and drag in the radio image. Again, you can do the whole thing with copying the path if you can't drag and drop. Hit enter. And once you've done that, let's reboot our phone into the bootloader once more. So we can hit the up arrow key twice and hit enter to repeat the command we did two commands ago. And once you're back into the bootloader, we'll run the update command here. So this is a quite a long one, but I'll explain what it does. So let's type in fastboot and then we'll type in double dash skip dash reboot. So this will prevent our phone from rebooting automatically after this command is finished. And then we're going to type in the word update and leave a space after update. And then you want to drag in the image zip file, not the factory image, and drag that over and hit enter. Alrighty, so the images have finished flashing. And the last thing we need to do is flash the Magisk patched boot image that we did earlier for the new Android 11 build. So why don't we do that? So let's type in fast boot flash boot, leave a space after the boot and drag in the magisk underscore patched image and hit enter. Alrighty, so the boot image has finished flashing. So all we need to do now is head over back to our phone here and we'll select reboot system now. And from here, we should boot into Android 11 rooted with the latest version of magisk. Alrighty, so our phone has booted up finally. It took a few minutes, had me worried. Um, but you can see we're running the developer preview here with the new R logo there. Let's unlock our phone. And our phone is starting up here, which is good news. Kept my wallpaper and my apps, which is nice. Uh, it seems to reset my navigation settings, but that's okay. We can change that. And here, I guess we'll have all the cool new changes to the notification shade and have all these new kind of things pop up. I'm sure that's already been there. Anyways, but uh, everything seems to be all right. But let's check out Magisk. There we go. Let's open that up. Okay, there we go. So we're still rooted here and I don't have any modules installed right now, but I'm sure that'll be fine as well. We can install modules, but as long as we're rooted, we should be ready to go. So, so thanks for watching guys. And this is how we update our rooted Pixel 3 from Android 10 to Android 11 whilst keeping root access. So I've been waiting for uh, Magisk to be compatible with this before I hopped on. Uh, but yeah, if you have any other questions, feel free to leave it down below in the comments section. I'll try to respond to those. And of course, if you have more pressing questions or you'd rather chat in a different way, feel free to join us on Discord. Link is also down below in the more info. And as always, happy flashing.